if you find the content relevant then do like share and subscribe to the channel also hit the bell button to get a regular notification also do share your experiences and any suggestion that you have in the comment box hope you enjoy These exams like SAT, SNAP, and MAT all come together. So how do you plan your preparation? Because the way the SAT examination is comparatively different from the SNAP exam. SNAP is a speed-based exam. SAT is more of a logical-based exam. Though the content may be same, but yes, the whole idea and the way to prepare is quite different. So in that case, what I normally say is look at the exam that is coming up. Like for example, the SNAP is coming up. To focus on the SNAP examination, at least one week before, I do completely focus on the SNAP exam. Maybe you can spend a small time, like half an hour to one hour, on the SAT exam, just to keep in touch or just to practice the DM section. But focus on the SNAP exam. So write a few mocks of SNAP, try to practice SNAP. Maybe a little practice of SAT. Well, here till the SNAP exam. So once the SNAP exam is over, say the next exam is SAT in January. Then focus on the SAT exam. Okay, write the mocks, prepare for mocks. Now whatever you prepare for SAT exam may help you also for the NMAT exam that comes later on because. Critical reasoning is sort of common. Okay, reading comprehension will help. Maths will help. So focus on the SAT examination till uh, January, where you try to focus on writing mocks. And after the SAT exam, if your NMAT exam is later, then you can focus on NMAT. The SAT and NMAT not too much, but little is common with regard to critical reasoning, etc. That could help you in the NMAT exam also. So the basic rule is one week before the exam, whichever exam you are writing, focus on that exam in terms of writing mocks. Practicing etc. Maybe you can spend little time on the other exam, maybe half an hour or so, just practicing some exercise of the other exam. But major time of your preparation should be on the exam that's coming up, at least one week before. If you have more than one week left, then before that one week you can balance your preparation all sections. Okay, so that would help. For example, if you're finishing your SNAP exam on twentieth and your ZAT examination is some twelve thirteen days away, so next three four days after the SNAP exam. You can focus on preparing both NMAT and ZAT and balance the two. So one week before ZAT, then focus on ZAT, write the mocks and try to prepare for the exam. Because the strategy for both the exam, the SNAP, the ZAT, and the NMAT are quite different. Therefore, the way you write becomes important. And before the exam, it makes sense to focus on those exam in at least in terms of strategy, so that you get used to the strategy and you can follow your strategy in the examination. So writing mocks for a particular exam just before the exam becomes extremely important, specifically because of the strategy involved in the examination. Thank you.